guys, welcome to today's vlog. Uh, today we're in the kitchen. My friend Tausi is here and she's teaching me how to make donuts. Yeah. No, I'll explain the, her process. I wanted to charge for your recipe. Your recipe. My recipe. <laughs> yes. Mm. Old school. You see donuts. Can we first say hi to my people? Hi to my people. Exactly. <laughs> uh -huh. so, so, so now what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, so yes. this is our biggest. <laughs> wow. Where is your sieve? I'm like, uh, I have a big one. This was this was it. This was my big one. You know why, guys? Cause these ones are even smaller. So that was my biggest one. Okay. So we don't to incorporate air in the hotel. In a way, when you. I think Nilia Chatuna Kuzang Kinini Tonjiki. Yes, and cup powdered sugar. Kiki and Yeji style. So you have to see how many spoons are you using? Self phrasing. Self phrasing. So in Nita Kutosha. Okay. So I'm going to take care of family. Because you're a big family. Excluding me and my friend. Yeah. Hey, we just have a bona choma. Una dayati, you look at me, could you pick a donut like you do see included in your friends? <laughs> okay, so, and then she's whisked over here five eggs because we want to make a lot because of the, the farm. So, let's move see if Ungayote. In your tutor, Tosha, see your tea? In your tutor, Tosha, the big farm. Okay. The big farm. Usually, for now, this is the biggest, so we work with what we got. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Rina, my cuckoo! Help me with the sabbat. Why are you using the sieve? So, usually, in the young, you see, you're a chef, you're a man. That's you, Nani, but okay. Oh, done. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Usually, na fendi gini ki siri bunga before ni pili. First, ina incorporate. Yeah, alafu na make mandazi zako. Ah, si mandazi. Whatever una make. Yeah. Na kuamu okay. Shape ki na kuam. Soft. Zuri. Mayo. Mayo. Eh, eku rafsa na. Okay. Ina kuwa na ka as as soft. Ni texti texti texti. Hmm. Thank you, our mm -hmm. chef chef. They usually like uh, they see it. Really, they see it. I don't mean they can't see, but if you want to 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 see, but if you want Yes, yeah, if okay, it's a cake, it's not a real soft texture. Come a cake, but they incorporate hair. Yeah, apart from incorporate hair, yeah, yeah. in a single yeah. appear like when I only soft. What is it? So we are putting some blue burnt. I'm not to me, I'm a chosen good answer. You need to add African sense of hearing, yes. smell. What, bro, what are you talking about, man? As we just put, we put salt until our sister says no. So, please don't ask me. How many? Babies, do you? I'm using my sense. My sixth sense. Stick it in me. No joke, you can take me more. It's a Hey. Hello.
hi guys it's been a while it's really been a while and you know something that i've really noticed about um filming because now for my classes and for my appointment i've just been filming like portrait like uh is it portrait or landscape like instagram mode so i in my mind that was like like mitch place your camera switch uh film for youtube like it's been it's been a while since i did this it's been a really good start of the year for me i think i would say i really i started off like not knowing what exactly you know like the way when you start off you're like you have like new year's resolutions you have this i do have the things that i want to have done um especially in quarter one quarter two quarter three because i've realized that that's much easier than just saying next year i want to do like you need to set like time time limits but yeah i think now i think because now we're in the second week it's the 17th of january right now today rather so i think now i have more of a bearing of what i want and how i'm gonna be able to achieve that and hopefully i'll be able to take you guys on the journey and to be able to share with you guys um as we do that so this is outfit of the day we're doing we're doing nudes like just nudes 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 and i'm from a makeup class i had a one-on-one -on -one. this week and last week has been like Evie, Evie, Evie. and i'm so so happy and i'm so excited that you guys are actually finally taking you know your makeup game to the next level and you're being serious about it by the way if you're interested in a class guys email is the fastest way to reach me uh, because dms are usually a lot so i'm gonna put my email address over here if you're interested in a class regardless of the country that you're in whether it's an online class which will do either via whatsapp or via zoom or a physical class but you need to be in nairobi kenya for that um yeah so if you are far away we can do an online class if you're around uh, which is even better we can do a physical one-on-one -on -one class uh there's a daily class there's a weekly class there's a monthly class depending on your budget so yeah but for the daily class it's just two hours and I do recommend you having a little prior makeup knowledge before taking that. Because if you take and your green cabisa two hours is not enough to know like beginning to end. Um, and us really like going in depth into it. Because at the end of the classes, my aim is always for you to feel like the class has been beneficial. And that you actually have known a little extra and that your makeup game is actually better. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave details below. Reach out to me. I am the best teacher in the world. You can't tell me anything. <laughs> so yeah i'm back home i want to create some content because 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 why because i'm a content creator that's why and we still have a ticket down the tree and don't tell me anything we will take down this tree in june now i'm telling a show <laughs> but actually haven't taken it down is because you see this one used to be over here so because we've moved it to that side i don't want to remove the tree and then leave this space open because over here there's like wires and i don't want any going into those wires so i'm gonna remove the tree after i've gotten another tree for here um i'm probably thinking um the best the best kind of chi would be you know like those like really aesthetically pleasing cheese like the tall ones with the palm leaves obviously not a real one the real ones will put them outside but just um a fake one just that will look nice over there and that really won't eat and that is high i don't know you guys give me suggestions i had looked at um somebody had told me to look at okadeko but i haven't gotten a chance and also house of leather but the one that i wanted for house of leather i do feel like it was a bit um above my budget it was i think like 30 or forty thousand, and i'm like that is not the budget i'm looking for for fake cheese sir so if you guys have any recommendations for <laughs> you're going see you if you guys have any recommendations for where i can get like those for pretty artificial plants please let me know and yeah it's gonna be an amazing year amen amen Shikilia. tap into it <laughs> anyway um i hope you guys are having an amazing day i'll catch you guys up a bit later after i've settled down um had a grab to uh, a grab to eat had a bite to eat and yeah also before i forget because i got so many dms i'm um, asking about the suitcases from the last vlog would I recommend them? Yeah, they were pretty nice. I, by the way, it's not sponsored. Um, just a legit plug that I feel like they they have really quality suitcases. But because so many of you guys have, have been asking, I'm just gonna put it like over here. They were from Mahir Trading on Instagram. Not sponsored. I bought full price, 
and I actually like them. So for the set that we got, we got a three in one. I recommend getting those like three in one ones. Um, and the one that one was I think nine thousand five hundred. If I'm not wrong, the delivery was free, but you can get like from that amount upwards. But I, the thing that I really liked at first when I talked to him, he was he sounded so uninterested, and I'm like, ah. but then I think maybe that's just his, his tone of voice. Have you ever seen those people? Who, when you talk to them, they just sound like, like they are bored. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But I really liked the fact that he, the one that I initially had, uh, had chosen. I know that one. I wouldn't recommend. I would recommend this one because of, um, the quality and all that. And they were the same price. So I was like, ah, okay, sour. So it, they came in a set of three. Guys, if you haven't seen it, because I can't be, start, I can't start removing suitcases from under our bed. If you haven't seen um that specific set i think go to our last vlog the one that i think the title is the last vlog of um 2022 of the year if i'm not wrong yeah they were really they were really nice uh quality so i do recommend them not sponsored again because i feel like you always have to say that nowadays yes they are from mahi they're from mahir trading on instagram so yeah, you can check it out if you're looking for options for suitcases. The other options that you guys had given me, Dendry, they told me they were out of stock. Um, Unleashed, they only had the bags. They didn't have suitcases and I didn't want to like start carrying physically. I wanted just something that we could just drag because hmm, you can't forget that rainy on my hip so I can't have rainy and still yeah carry. So if you are interested, check them out and yeah. hours later here i am catching you guys up as i had said i would catch you guys up <laughs> this is the look that we did today um inspo is berry i am berry bebe or berry bebe i don't know how to say it um yeah i always just love to try something different something experimental and also to try out different um inspos from different artists just to see how how it will look on me and also to give myself a challenge when it comes to blending in a different way um i did cover my brows with some soap brows um flatten flatten them out and then now went ahead with this look is this look looking or what <laughs> all right anyway um i'm about to clear up because it looks a mess oh here yeah 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 and then um take off the makeup because where am i going with this makeup at 10 pm nowhere absolutely nowhere and then get ready and i also need to wash brushes um and then get ready for my clients tomorrow the rest of the week i haven't booked um a lot of people my next bookings i've booked them the next week so that i can have the rest of the week to create content it's really really important um for me to get ahead of things before i you know get to a point where i don't have content for i don't know how long and it's because i am doing shoots or clients back to back so i just want to space that out in that way anyway i hope you guys are doing well and i will catch you guys up tomorrow boom ali i don't know what? i'm about to go home why you keep on saying tomorrow 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 oh why you can't just say you can go right now how about that why you can't just say that because i'm not saying that what i gotta say that for you don't tell me what to say mama how about this how about you say another thing Okay, tomorrow. Another day, don't say tomorrow, ma. Hey guys. We two fika hapa. Two me fika hapa. I thought my hair would have grown like much longer. <laughs> but the thing that I'm a little concerned about is do you see here at the at the base? and I don't know if it's because of that gel and that's actually one of the reasons why the last time after my hair had grown from the temporary locks um, I had to cut it because it was so tangled I really I really hope it doesn't it doesn't affect when I try to like comb it out so I am just removing these braids um, and then I want to try out one of the ways that I've researched on how to stop breastfeeding because guys me I feel like it's time I feel like it's time it has been such a long it's been so long for me and I do enjoy it like I really really enjoy breastfeeding because 
it's usually a chance for me and Rain to get to bond. But then I'm feel I feel like my shoulders have started to get a bit tired because of all you know the, because of the weight. And then again, just that <laughs> the other day, guys, I was literally I felt like crying because the whole night he was just tapping on my face, just sitting on me, wants to go like this, like this. And then Yuma, and you know how people you imagine kumwa matiti. And that day I was like, you know what, by the way, it's not a must. And that was like a week ago or two weeks ago. So I have finally decided, let me start. I know it's not going to be like instant, but I want to just start weaning him off of breast milk because he's already taking everything. And then, ah, great news, guys. Uh, today he actually ate our food. Not that he usually doesn't, but like the full meal. No, he doesn't. So today he had some kamande and some starch it was it was really really nice um so to come bond to your mchele and then he was able to have it so pole pole too this boy is growing growing up so big so what are some of the tips that you guys can give me for how to stop breastfeeding without him you know having to feel some type of way because hey with blake and blair iligonga heavy one year i was like <laughs> I'm done with this because breastfeeding two children till one year is not is not a small feat, let me tell you. What I mean, because each of them is one year, one year. So we come and we breastfeed for two years. But with Rain, he's like one year. He's one year how many months? Like what, I think maybe one and a half years. Ian is the parent who usually keeps track of his one year, five months. Three days, two hours. I yeah, I'm not those. I'm not those parents. So he's one year, six months or so around there, one and a half years. So I feel like it's it's okay to stop right now. I know the World Health Organization usually recommends up till two years, but I just feel like it's been a good one, and I am ready. I am ready to retire my boobs from breastfeeding i am ready guys <laughs> i am ready anyway let me finish up on this hair doesn't it look like a style though like what it looks like bantu knots but like now with blonde hair and then i don't know what i'm gonna do with this hair but i do have a shoot on friday and i don't want to have like because the edges were really bad it's just the edges and i want to have like a different hairstyle so i'll probably have mesh install a black wig towards the towards the shoot and then yeah i'll figure out what i'm gonna do with my hair next week no i'm not gonna shave my hair but probably i'll do some braids or cornrows just something nice yeah anyway guys i need tips for stopping to breastfeed i need tips please comment in if there's anything that i need tips with it's this one i need tips why that's how i'm decided i'm gonna do it <laughs> I have decided I am going to reduce uh, breast milk production using courage. I don't know if you guys have seen those um, videos. So basically, take a leaf, put it in the fridge, put it on your breasts, and then in a few days, it turns a polypolic to reduce production. So that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the video said just the inner leaves. So I want to take. I don't want to take such a big one. I want to take just like a medium, a medium size one. Like I think, let me just take this one. I'm going to wash it. Oh, and then put it in the fridge. Two of them. Okay, I just need one. By the way, me, I had stopped uh, breastfeeding with both breasts. I was just breastfeeding with this one. So even a lot of the times you would see if like I wore an outfit and then I had a lot of milk, you could just see like this one book me for Because I, I haven't breastfed with this <coughs> in such a long time. Reason being it was really really painful. Um when I was breastfeeding at like maybe five, six months. So I just decided, you know what? Is there a mask? Is it a mask or is not? So that's my leaf. Let me put it in the fridge. After like 20 minutes, after it's gotten cold, I'm gonna put the cold compress on it. The video, um, the video, the lady was saying, you know, you reduce your feeds from like 15 feeds to like 10 feet to make to like 13 to 10. I'm like 15 feet. I think I feed this boy like 
maybe three or four times in a day um with if when it comes to breast milk and then he eats like no more food um the rest of the time so i'm like hey i think for me it's i am right on the i'm on the right path because already i had stopped breastfeeding because i don't have a lot of milk um currently so what is there i want to slowly by slowly reduce it because the lady said don't do sudden don't do sudden sudden weaning which means just basically which is what i did with blake and i didn't know so she said like slowly by slowly wean him off of it so that he doesn't get you know um he doesn't throw tantrums or get clingy or feel like there's something that he's missing my help is over there putting up the curtains so yeah i want to do it the right way this time so i don't know how it's gonna go but it's gonna go because breastfeeding is really it takes a, a toll like i feel hungry so often because all my energy is going towards breast milk like you can even do research like it it really does take a toll and it's going to a point i'm like you know what i've done it for long enough it's about time mama lived a little okay so let me throw this in the fridge okay i'll come back to you in 20 minutes and i am really loving plum season i just don't like the fact that the skin and the seed are so bitter but i love plums especially this orange ones yellow ones yellow ones as opposed to like the old red ones amazing and i wanted to give away this tripod it's not um it's an old tripod it's the first tripod i ever bought it's really small it's an eight inch eight inch, eight inch. and seriously about the christmas tree we already talked about that done and dusted so um it only has an issue over here because it's i don't know if it's the the bolt or something so here i keep putting rubber bands so it can stay up but it expands all the way if it will even kubaliku expand it expands all the way till like here almost my my head level and i'm pretty tall guys i'm pretty tall i'm like five foot seven maybe eight i don't know but it's yeah it's, it's a nice size i just don't know if you'll be able if you'll be able to know what to do about this and just how to tighten it because it's just a bolt that is missing and i don't know where it went to but yeah you see it keeps going down if you don't cause it over there so if you're interested especially if you're an upcoming uh, content creator and you don't have it it's really nice especially for starters and eating trend just let me know in the comment section and you have to be in nairobi kenya and you will have to pick it up from town so just let me know if you're interested in this and yeah i hope it helps you in your journey good morning guys um not me forgetting to show you the rest of the things that i wanted to show you uh yesterday but i finished i hope the lighting is okay a little bit like this yeah but we finished i finished um uh, detangling my hair guys so much of it like so much maka like i'm honestly i'm not even gonna lie i'm contemplating cutting it and i know that sounds like what are you doing but it's like every time i do a protective style and then i especially when they do gel and even this time when she did gel i was like yeah you know gel last time it's what made me cut my hair and she's like no it's gel limzuri so what i'm thinking is either it's the gel ama it's not the gel but it's my hair because my hair is quite um it's not as strong as it could be because i have i still have what's it called hair dye on my hair i'm thinking because <sighs> Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys how much ilikatika when I was detangling yesterday. It's just, it's crazy. So I can't show you guys because I think Ian Ali took. I had put, I had finished and then put it on top of the desk and maybe he thought that it was that and he threw it away. So now I can't show you guys how much ilikatika. But let me just show you guys um, where we're at right now. And it doesn't look like ilikatika mob, but ilikatika mob. <laughs> like literally the ends. Each and every part that had a bit of gel, every time that I was detangling it, ilikatika na 
mounds of hair like literally so my hair <coughs> it would have been like till like right there not too long but long-ish so i don't know guys i'm just feeling like let me just cut it and start again <laughs> Not you know I got in the comments like mm, I thought you just just two cut from the two. I cut that ten, but I don't care, guys. Huh? What am I supposed to do with the hair, please? What am I supposed to do with the hair? But anyway, I'll figure it out. I was even thinking of like doing some long braids, but we'll figure it out. Tomorrow I'm doing a wig and then do the shoot and then to next week i'll figure out what i'm gonna do with this hair because at this particular point i don't know i don't know anyway here's our very wet at wet our very cold cabbage and i'm about to put it in um and see how it goes okay so cold my gosh Do you guys think anybody will know that I'm walking around with a cabbage on my chest? Hey, I don't care. <laughs> Somewhere, did you know that making your bed in the morning significantly increases your chances of having a better day because you feel like you have achieved one task and then it's due, which I don't know if it's endorphins or one of those hormones is released and then you feel like, oh yeah, so it needs to be washed. But yeah, I decided to switch up this. And put it on top as opposed to this one because it makes the room look brighter as opposed to you know this dark green color uh and then ian has asked me how do you oh Ian has asked me to start up the car because they haven't used the car in i don't know how long i think in like two weeks or so oh no oh no What are all these things? I think the battery has gone down. Yup. Yup. How do you even get the... <laughs> How do you get the key out? Do you guys... Yeah, that battery. Anyway. So, I don't know if... I don't know if they're the only ones, but we have really... We have really decided to downsize in terms of our spending, especially this January, because of all the bills that come with January. There's school fees, there's obviously rent. Um, in our block of buildings, to another another bill, but it's gonna be starting in March, so we have that, and then obviously there's and you know I I really didn't. I hadn't taken into consideration, or we hadn't taken into consideration, because I'm I, I'm usually not even with a car. How expensive it is to maintain a car! Like when you guys got your first car, if you have a car, like had you had you really known the financial implications of how much a car costs? Because I feel like for us it was like okay, we thought you know service here and there, and then fuel. But what? there's a lot of overhead costs. Should we? Should we? Did you which what's, the, what's it called? Not spring rolls, spring springs, the springs for the car. Did you the fanyanini, and then because this one is not a new car, it's a second hand car. Kuna a lot of nitty gritties that maybe um from the initial owner were okay, but shocks they're called shocks, and then now maybe we need to replace over time. I really didn't know about all these things, so sometimes Ian comes and tells me, hey, do you know I've had to replace you this, and I'm like, what? Why? I thought when you buy a car, only, the only thing you need to do is just, just get fuel. <laughs> wow. So we've decided, because this month is a very heavy month um, in terms of bills. So we've decided, like the last two weeks we haven't used the car. So we've either, either been using a um, Matatu or we've been using, or we've been going with uh with our friends because we are on the same path so they drop us off and then me i take um, an uber because it's closer to where i do my classes and my appointments <sighs> so yeah it's it's i don't know i don't know if it's me who hasn't seen the information but i feel like there's not a lot of um i haven't had a lot of this like how much it costs to run a car and then now fuel fuel that you would put for maybe at a two thousand it's like almost 
a quarter or a half less than what it used to be because now it's more expensive and it's less. We, we, we. I wonder if anybody knows I'm walking around with a cabbage and I smell like a cabbage. <laughs> I literally smell like a cabbage. So yeah, um, I think these are just one of the things about adulting that I just, you know, that's, that's just the reality. Now when you become a parent, now you have to start paying bills. I always, I always, I always look at people who still stay with their parents and I'm like, wow, you're having a girl. Like what? You don't pay rent. And I'm like, what? to everybody who is still in that cafe is, um, and you're really feeling like, you know what? I really want to go out and get my own place and get my own car and get my own, huh, and get my own. What? You better be ready for those bills, girl, boy. Because it's a lot. It's really a lot. Like this whole independent woman or man thing. Right? It's, 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 ex it's expensive, guys. It's expensive. So, yeah. But I think it's one of those things that you, you just um, take in stride and learn. And... Yeah, I'm just enjoying the process of also learning how to juggle our money. Uh, make sure you pay the bills. Make sure you have a little bit for, you know, social social life in terms of like taking out the kids. Because for me, I'm really for, I'm really for like having, having activities. Like let's go horse riding, let's go bowling, let's go um, just activities. Let's go feed the animals, doing which farm. Like I really love those activities because... I never got them growing up and I know how important they are and I know how much kids remember them. And yeah, so it's really important for us. And then to to do that, or for me, I don't know about Ian, maybe I don't know. I don't know. And then also having money aside to invest because at the same time you have to think about, okay, so Mbeleni, when I get to, you know, my, my older years, will I have you know, a sustainable savings plan. So when I sat doing that research and when I did the financial class with Sue, I think I had mentioned it either on my Instagram or on here a couple of months ago. She said, you have to have a sinking fund. Um, and a sinking fund, I think if I don't, if I remember correctly, is basically a fund where you put together your expenses of up to six months. So for example, if your all your household, um, bills so let's say you put together everything your rent your food guy did i tell you guys when when we did the budget with half of food i was i was shocked i was like how are we spending i think 40 50 000 on food and i'm like that's that's bizarre but then again it was also poor financial planning for me at that time because i i I am one to spend like in bulk. I mean, to buy in bulk, like, you know, nyanyas are 200, vitungus are 200. But then when I noticed it, what, what was eating a lot of our, 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 our money at that time was like easy zakununua hapa, hapa, hapa. So my help tells me, oh, nyanyas imesha. So I told her, okay, endo nune pale. Maybe it's a so. Nyanyas are so that in ngapi? Ni nyanyane? Sir! Oh my gosh, look! What is adulting, guys? What is adulting? So we would, so I would realize, like, okay, so I, I had this amount of money coming in, and then at the end of the month, I, I didn't know how to account for it or how to, like, I didn't, I didn't know where it went to. So now when we started doing the, the, you know, the breakdowns, and I do recommend you guys to, if you are struggling with finances or just need a general direction and if you don't know about finances i do recommend taking a class with so it was really really mind-blowing for me um she taught me about the app it's not sponsored I, I just legit like sharing with you guys plugs that have worked for me especially in this economy hmm, that we are in so she taught me about apps that can help you tracking uh with tracking money and i think i had shared that with you guys it's called money manager it's like a red app that looks like it has like a piggy bank over there so that one she also um oh yeah i was still okay my mind is my thoughts are everywhere so she was talking about the sinking fund so having a sinking fund basically is expenses of up to i don't know if it's a year or six months um just in case so for example if you have a budget of rent food um employees if you have employees so put your nanny over there put um anybody who is working maybe in your organization just money going out 
uh, we're talking about school fees we're talking about water we're talking about electricity which is another thing that it is so have you ever bought electricity for a thousand bob hmm? alafu ukiangalia hizo taxes zote in reality umepatiwa electricity ya kama 500 the rest has gone to taxes i'm like i want to cry i just honestly i want to cry because what is that what is that anyway i don't want to start chanting over here but yeah um a harsh reality um is sometimes you have to you know make those financial decisions of I need to cut down on this and this and this and this so that I can have a sustainable and a manageable um, expense rate and also just having that extra to to save. And I've really been looking like, eh, which other extra side hustles can we do? Because at this point, I'm looking to do like 50 side hustles just so we can have like a bigger pool of income. <sighs> am I the only one? Am I the only one? Do we know that would come Everybody is just living love with the look and we are just over here making those tough decisions. But anyway, I'm I'm happy that we're having those um conversations with Ian and if, hopefully you guys are also having those conversations because they're important. When we get to those years when we are not working as much as we are working right now, you know it will really show how well you you used your money. So yeah. <sighs> I think I'm gonna end this vlog over here. I I don't know if it's ever if I've ended it on a high note or on a sour note, but it's like wow. I have ended it on the note of the car ime battery ime nini and we need to restart it again. I need to call Ian because of that. Um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. This vlog that has been all over the place and that ime kawiasana, but getting back into the groove of things so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on our next vlog. I still smell like cabbage. And I'll let you guys know how the cabbage thing goes. I'm giving it three days. I'm giving it three days. I see if the milk will have st completely stopped. Ama na 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 handwa. Na rindu ya maziwa. Bye guys.